In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a bacterial smear for gram staining. First things first, let's put on our goggles. First, we need to prepare the microscope slide. For this stain, we're going to have two controls and an unknown. So I need to draw three circles on the microscope slide using a wax pencil. The center circle is for the unknown and the uh, two outside circles are for the controls. It's a good idea to flip that slide over so the wax is on the bottom then it won't mix with my bacterial sample and it's an easy way for me to tell which side's up. It can be helpful to put your slide on a paper towel and label that paper towel with the bacterial, uh, the names of the bacterial samples that you're going to put on it. it helps you keep track of what you're doing. So we're going to have our gram positive control staff on the left our gram-negative E. coli control on the right and our unknown is in the center. I'm going to place a small drop of water inside each of those circles and that's what I will be mixing my bacterial samples into. Now I'm going to transfer my bacterial samples to the microscope slide. I'm going to start with my positive control, Staph epi, or Staphylococcus epidermidis. I use Staph as my positive control because it is a known gram-positive organism that I can compare my unknown to. I sterilize my loop. Then I obtain that sample of staph by running my cooled loop over a colony that's growing on the surface of the medium. I then take that sample and mix it into the water droplet in the circle on the left side of my slide. I'm sterilizing my loop again inside the hub of the micro incinerator. Once it's cooled, I'm ready to obtain my E. coli gram-negative sample. I use E. coli as a negative control because it's a known gram-negative organism that I can compare my unknown to. So to obtain a sample, I just take my cooled loop and run it across a colony that's growing on the surface of the medium. Then I swirl that sample into the water droplet in the circle on the right side of my slide. I sterilize my loop again in the hub of the micro incinerator. Once I remove it and it is cooled, I'm ready to obtain my unknown bacterial sample. So again, I use my cooled loop to gently run it across the surface of the medium, grabbing a colony of bacteria. And then I swirl that unknown sample into the water in the circle in the center of my slide. Now I'm ready to sterilize my loop for the last time. I'm finished using it. Now I'm going to heat fix my bacterial smear. I very carefully move that slide to place it in the slide tray on top of the micro incinerator. You need to be careful so the droplets of water don't run together. I have to wait about five or ten minutes until the bacterial smears are dried. Heat fixing 
kills the bacteria and sticks it to the slide so that I can now perform my Gram stain.